Now let's talk about voter ID laws across the country. In fact, there are 26 different states that have either already implemented or proposed legislation to say that, hey, if you want to vote, you need some sort of voter ID, photo ID. Now, we, as if we've told you in the past, that might seem innocuous to all of us who have driver's licenses, but a lot of people live in big cities where they don't have cars, they don't use cars, they use mass transportation. As an example, so in reality, 25% of African Americans in this country do not have uh, identification with a picture in, right? 16% around uh, that number of Latinos don't have it either. Now, this is not lost on the Republicans, they're perfectly aware of this. Uh, in fact, they, it's part of their strategy. Paul Weyrich said it a long time ago. He said, hey, you know what? Uh, I don't want people to vote. I want less people to vote. This is the guy who started the Heritage Foundation. I don't want everybody to vote. Elections are not won by a majority of people. They never have been from the beginning of our country, and they are not now. As a matter of fact, our leverage in the elections quite candidly goes up as the voting populace goes down. So that's one of the ideological godfathers of the Republican Party, one of the founders of so many of their important institutions like the Heritage Foundation. They don't want people to vote, that's why they do this. Now, I have evidence. So uh, let's talk about Pennsylvania, because a decision about that came down today. Judge uh, Robert Simpson, who of course is a Republican, uh, decided, hey, you know what, the voter ID laws in Pennsylvania are legal and he's not going to put an injunction on them so now it will go and get appealed and we'll see where it goes to next now what was the basis that the republicans gave for voter id being a huge problem photo fraud i should say being a huge problem in pennsylvania none in their court papers they literally said let me see it here they are not aware of any incidents of in-person voter fraud None in the state of Pennsylvania. In fact, they can cite a single one in the whole country. Now that's a little much because we actually know that since 2000, so you know, 10 to 12 years, depending on when they stopped counting, um, there were 13 cases. Now, actually, to be fair, there's one study that says nine. There's another study that says 10. But let's go with the highest number, 13. There were. There are 146 million registered voters. There have been at least 640 million votes between just the years 2000 to 2010. <laughs> 13 cases? Are you kidding me? Of in-person voter registration fraud. So like you walk in and you go, hey, you know what? Okay, uh, I am Mickey Mouse. And then they find out you're not Mickey Mouse. So now, what is more common? Well, let's take a look. Uh, they crunched some numbers here. It turns out death by vending machine affected at least 10 times more people. 130 people. That's, by the way, maybe the stat of the day. <laughs> that 130 people have died in that same time period because of vending machines. But these probably beat it. Death by coconut, 1,500 deaths in 10 years. Now, to be fair, that's the whole world, not just America. We want to keep it fair here. Fatal hippo attacks in Africa. No, I, it, this beats the coconut and the vending machines. 29,000 hippo attack deaths in Africa in the same time period. Okay, So you're much more likely to be killed by a hippopotamus than you are to see in-person voter fraud. This is nonsense. So why are they actually bringing uh, all these laws up? Well, so of course, so that those people can't vote. In reality, they even admit it. Mike Terzai, who is the head of the House for the Republicans in Pennsylvania, said this. Voter ID, which is going to allow Governor Romney to win the state of Pennsylvania. Done. Oh, really? So this is about uh, delivering Pennsylvania for Mitt Romney. Do you know that they might be disenfranchising hundreds of thousands of voters in Pennsylvania? And by the way, where are the uh, places where they have the biggest problem of people not having voter IDs? Oh, Philadelphia and other urban areas in Pennsylvania. I didn't see that coming. What a wild, wild coincidence. Do you know, one little fun fact for you guys, in Pennsylvania, that it costs $5 to get a gun ID, and it costs $10 to get a driver's license ID. Now, that's not a big difference, but it's funny that it costs less for the gun. But if you have a gun ID, you can immediately go to vote. 
if you have a driver's license ID, you need to register it 30 days before the election. Why? Because they want people who show up and go, all right, look, I know you required ID. Here's my driver's license. I got it a week ago. <laughs> I can't vote. Now, if you own a gun and you're more likely to be a Republican, come on in. None of this has a single thing to do with voter fraud. It has everything to do with voter suppression to make sure you don't show up and vote.